Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio. Last episode, we managed to beat Montpelier 2-1, uh, although we fell down to begin with. Calvert, our newly healthy forward, managed to get us back. Now, today's game, we travel down to Arkansas to play Little Rock. We are currently five points clear of Concord in the standings with four games left. Little Rock does not, well, they technically have a chance to promote. It's not going to happen. It's between these five teams here. But Little Rock has other motivation for beating us and forcing us to deal with them. And that is because we managed to prevent them from promoting last season. We beat them in the final game of the season while playing our backups. And that stopped their entire momentum. They, they well, not their momentum, but they prevented them from promoting, and they would love to do the same to us this year. A victory here puts us in even better position, and Little Rock already knocked us out of the Liberty Cup, uh, and, which they were then knocked out of uh, pretty easily by Jacksonville. But we've had quite the set of games against these this team. Uh, their defense is, well, it's set up kind of strangely here. Uh, they don't have any center defenders, and they don't have a sweeper, so if we can get it in towards the box, we've got a good chance. But they do have a bunch of universal defenders to intercept adjacent shots, and then we've got the right defender and left defender to stop those break-ins that we would love to do with Calvert. By the way, I'm putting Osborne in for Thacker. Thacker was very busy in the last game. If we need him, he'll come back, but here we go. Little Rock versus Manchester. Can Little Rock spoil our chances for a promotion? Every win that we can get makes it harder on our, uh, on Concord and Anchorage to catch us. Thompson keeps the ball from Doss. So Thompson's gonna get a good shot off here. And puts it away. Little Rock starts off really strongly there. Because our defenders didn't do much. Bowers couldn't intercept and Doss didn't take it away. Calvert gets it. Calvert can move in here. And could go for the power shot or could go for the cross, but Denny's got head play, so that's going to make that a little more difficult. He's going to go for it, and Witherspoon intercepts. The pass gets to Redia, who then gets intercepted by Bowers. And then the slide tackle allows Bowles to take it. And Rosales moves in. Bowers takes it from from Bowles. Uh, it's worth the shot, and it's taken away by Kinney, unfortunately. Uh, and we don't really have a great defender to take it back, so Osborne isn't able to. Little Rock is starting off really well. There. The lofted pass doesn't get to Thompson. And overcomes Bowles for it. Doss takes it away. And tries to pass it to Osborne. It doesn't quite get there. So Bowers is going to come over to take it. Bowles comes up, takes it away, what's he gonna do now, and moves off to the side, 
And gonna give Bowers another chance to take it away. He does so. And we're gonna try the pass to Greer. It doesn't reach him. This has not been a great start for us. John moves up. John moves out. John holds. Is it, this is a time when I really wish we I had brought in Thacker for this. Um, but we're gonna bring over Osborne just to press. We don't want John moving up the sideline. And Kinney gets it. Kinney moves up and will hold this one. Once again, Bowers is gonna come up. Bowers takes it away. He's already very tired. And he's gonna pass to Roman. John will probably come right over and take it away. Which he does. And then passes to Redia. And once again, we gotta get the ball, and Bowers can't take it away. They're probably gonna get a shot off here. Osborne moving down, trying to get anything there. Downs is gonna get the shot. Oh, but the lofted pass doesn't get to him. Downs can come back over, but that's going to end the half for us. Okay, I'm going to try maybe changing the formation, if possible. So, I could put Bowers there, I can put Calvert over in the middle, and maybe this, this way we can get an actual cross in for Olsen to try. We're going to try that because they're blocking our chances for, for a regular uh, break-in like we would enjoy having. Oh, I guess Roman can't move to him. That's unfortunate. So we can't actually manage the cross from here. I thought, I thought we'd be able to, but I guess not. Well, that's unfortunate. Eh, we'll go for the shot then. The very unlikely shot. And I may have ruined their chances here, so we'll just redo the formation. Pass. Gets over to Heredia. No, gets to Kinney. And what's Kinney going to do with it? He does the rainbow feint to get past Osborne. And then moves out to the side. Once again, Bowers is going to be doing a lot here. We're very reliant on him to get us the ball. Osborne gets it. Kenny moves over. Press happens. Redia takes it easily. And we're going to we're going to have to bring in Thacker because we just don't have much of a chance otherwise. Bowers does take it away and this time we're going to get it over to Calvert because we gotta put some pressure on the defense here and they still manage to take it away Witherspoon Can I call a timeout? I need to get my sub in. I don't want Heredia to get any further here. So I guess we're going to be coming up with Doss to take it away. Which he does. Try lofted passes here. 
Doss is gonna hold this and try and keep it probably from oh no they're pressing with Thompson and over comes Kinney is Kinney gonna press as well yes he is which gives Redia an easy way to get the ball and Doss fouls Redia however he is injured so and that's something. Um, Bowers is going to be in there. I'll put Roman in there, I guess. And okay. What else are they going to do? We'll shatter back. We'll have Tompkins back. I just don't want an easy shot for them. And Thompson gets it. He's gonna go for the shot again. And this time it's saved by Hodges. A lucky break there. We need to be able to go on the attack. There. So Shatter helps out in front with Kenny. And Tompkins will help out back there. Put Doss here in case they try and go to Thompson. Uh, they're not going to Thompson, they're going to Bulls instead. And he made it, both of them keep position. And Shatter can't get it, so Bulls right on goal. And Hodges can't save it, we're down 2 nothing. Little Rock. I think Little Rock is going to get their revenge here. We need a miracle for us. Calvert still can't get it by. The team is really, really not performing at their best here. This was a game we absolutely needed to win, and it's not happening. This is a very disappointing result. And the loft of pass doesn't get to Calvert. Just Denny instead. Denny tries the loft of pass, gets it to Rosales, and gets the long pass past Roman. Thompson, what's he gonna do with it? Goes for the shot of all things, and doesn't manage it there. So Shatter is going to come over, get the ball, and go long pass to Greer or, and can't do long pass to Roman, unfortunately. If only Olsen hadn't gone in on that turn. Gonna try and get it over to Greer. Now Greer could pass, try and pass to Olsen. It's not going to work. Or Greer could go for the incredibly unlikely shot. And it's intercepted by Rosales. And that is game. Little Rock defeats Manchester 2 to nothing. We had possession only 34% of the time. We had no chance here. We had no good shots. Bowers was the only thing that kept it even close. What a disappointing game. And Bowers is exhausted after that one. That's a rough one, folks. A really, really rough one. Columbia beat Boise 3-2, Anchorage tied Newark, San Jose beat Jackson, Birmingham tied Concord, and Montpelier lost to Montgomery. So we are now, we're still more than a game up on Concord and Anchorage, but 
we also have the two toughest opponents still on the schedule with Birmingham and San Jose. And our next game is against Montgomery. And Montgomery, well, they're, they're a little more traditional on defense, but they still got... Yeah, we, we gotta figure out an approach that's going to work because this past game was not it. Uh, and for our opponents, Concord is facing San Jose, that's good. Anchorage is playing Columbia, that's less good. San, we're rooting for San Jose and Columbia here because if we can win and have Concord or Anchorage lose in the next game, we've clinched. But we need, we need help still to realize our dream of promotion. And Little Rock just made that a little harder. I hope you enjoyed the episode despite our uh, unfortunate result there. And I hope Bowers is able to, you know, get himself back up. Uh, leave a like if you did. Comment below any thoughts or strategies we should take into for our Montgomery game, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, and happy gaming.